come let's make a rolling tray together so this is one of my best selling rolling tray sets in my shop my customers love this set and so do i so quick tip if you guys are struggling with your stickers and you're a beginner find something that is non-stickable like non-stick paper and apply it to your sticker i do this uh and i use a clear uh, paper so that it's you know I can easily see where to place my sticker on the tray but this is going to help you be able to place your sticker in the perfect spot now you want to hold your sticker at an angle while you rub it uh, downward because this is going to avoid any bubbles because you don't want any bubbles in your sticker it does not look appealing to your customer now you're going to see me applying each individual letter to the first decal the reason why I did that is because my tray was not all the way dry when it comes to the paint so I didn't want to put transfer tape because I knew it would have just took the paint right off so that's why I'm doing this um but you do not have to do this you can use your transfer tape now it's time to pour this resin make sure you guys have on your protection gear when it comes to working with resin as these are really harsh chemicals now I really wanted to let you guys know to please pay attention to this method um, if you guys are struggling with your the insides of your walls on your tray looking uneven um, and um, the epoxy just looks not you know so great uh, you want to do this method I promise you go around your tray and push the resin against the walls on your tray at least five or six times and heat up the resin because when you heat the resin up and you thicken it it sticks to the walls a lot more better giving you so much more of an even coat and it doesn't look uneven and jagged so please do that make sure you heat it up so that you can thicken the resin this is my method that I always use I do not miss out on this method I promise you because I used to struggle with the walls looking so uneven on the inside of the tray and it just looks so unprofessional um now you guys i'm just uh applying the resin to the uh the edges of the tray please make sure you guys are paying attention to that as well because you can definitely mess up and miss some spots and have to go back in with resin and sometimes you just don't want to have to do that because if you're only applying resin to the edges it could just look a little odd um and um you know it don't look right sometimes if you have to go in a second time um so just pay attention the first time and you know get it right if you guys want more in-depth details on how i customize my trays come to my profile and click on this button it's going to take you exactly where you need to go we're going to be uploading episodes showing you guys exactly how we customize all of our trays so you don't want to miss out on that i promise you